it's always surprising to me how there seems to be just this sense that Republicans take better care of veterans than Democrats. And um, I, 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 it's just factually wrong. It's just factually wrong. And so I thought what would be good in talking about my work to increase funding for veterans and all the work I've done on behalf of veterans to briefly give you a partial only list of some of the votes that Todd Aiken has cast when it came time to decide which side are you going to be on. Are you going to be on the side of the veterans and the promises that we've made? Or are you going to be on the other side? In 2003, October, Todd Aiken cast the deciding vote against bonuses for our troops in Iran and Afghanistan, which would have been paid for by some of the money that we were giving to Iraq at the time. Aiken opposed the military pay raise in 2010. In 2006, he voted to allow $507 million to be stripped from the veterans' programs. Also in 2006, he supported a budget that cut $6 billion from veterans' programs and increased fees for veterans. In 2005, he supported a budget that cut veterans' programs by $13 billion. In 2003, he supported a budget that cut $15 billion from veterans' programs and increased fees. In 2008, Aiken opposed a budget that increased veterans' funding by $3.7 billion. In 2007, he opposed a budget that included record funding increases for veterans. In 2006, Aiken opposed efforts to increase veterans' fundings and prevent an increase in fees. In 2005, in March, he opposed effort to increase spending on veterans. In 2004, he supported a budget that underfunded veterans programs and was strongly opposed by all veterans groups. That was in on March 20th, vote 92 of 2004. In 2001, Aiken opposed full funding for veterans benefits. That was vote 296 on the 30th of August, uh, July uh, 2001. He opposed expanding TRICARE to thousands of National Guard and Reserve volunteers in May of 2005. He opposed a $100 million increase for military health care in March of 2005. He opposed legislation to pay active military families health insurance costs in September of 2003. He opposed a, five, a $53 million boost for veterans health care and benefits in May of 2005. He opposed debt assistance for returning guard and reservists in April of 2005. He voted against an effort to allow guard and reservists who had gotten into debt trouble as a direct result of them being deployed. All this was going to do was give them some relief that they would not have to get all of their debts, some relief in bankruptcy court uh, for people whose debts could be attributable directly to their service. It would have just helped them get through the rough patch, um, and he voted against that. He voted against additional job training assistance for veterans returning from overseas in March of 2005. He opposed ending the military families tax in 2006. He voted against giving veterans full disability and retirement benefits simultaneously in 2003. So um, that is a list, and for anyone who's interested, we can get you all of the bill numbers and the exact dates and the number of the, of the vote. Um, and by the way, those budgets where he voted to cut veterans, um, it wasn't as if those budgets were decreasing spending overall. They weren't. Um, as you all know, they increased massively spending during the Bush years, including record high. In fact, in some of these years when he cut veterans' benefits, it was the top year ever for earmarking. 